when you start out with a diagnosis, you don't know exactly how it's going to affect you. And you have to grow and learn in that. And I'm much better at managing it now than I was then. Often, like, I've, I've had the experience where I think someone else is, might be there. And so then you look, and then there's no one there. You're like, oh, OK, then, hang on. This, it, it's not enough a voice. It's not me speaking out loud, so it's something else. So it's very frightening. Early intervention is really key. It is very important to know that. And yeah, I think for the person, it's great for them to start to recognise those things. But I think for other people in their life, it is important because you might be able to help them in a way where they don't feel able to say, this is what I'm going through. So spotting those signs is very important if you suspect that that's happening. I have voices that just tell me bad things about myself or that, about harming myself, even killing myself sometimes. And that's really distressing, especially if no one else can hear it and you're just thinking, but I am hearing something. So I think it's a very alienating and isolating experience, but it's also really scary because it is normal. We've all got a mind, don't we? We've all got thoughts and um, we all have those things. So it's normal. All of us has mental health, but it's a continuum. And if we can speak more openly and honestly about that, I think that's going to help other people.